Welcome to the Fayetteville Super Regional. It has been an electric atmosphere. Presented by Capital One, this is the winner take all game three between Arkansas and Missouri State. The winner goes to the College World Series. The loser, great season, but it will be done. We take well, I tell you what, there's been a real difference in the two ball games, and it all starts with offense and a lot of times for Arkansas. And they got it going in game one. Hit slugging percentage, hit balls out of the ballpark. Everything they needed to do to win the game, they did. Game two, 60 feet, six inches came into play as Matt Hall was brilliant. The nation's leader in strikeouts coming into the game, scoreless for the first six innings, and then really got tired, but able to pitch through it, completed the game with a strikeout right there, saved the bullpen for the Bears. Why not finish it with a strikeout? It's just backwards. You know, one and oh, it's a break of ball. Maybe a changeup. has got a good move to first. Serrano swinging at the first pitch. Nice play by Blake Graham and right. One pitch, one out. Base hit. Ernest may be heating up at the right time. All yesterday, the lefty against the Nintendo. Ball four, four pitch walk. The left side. Base hit. They're going to send Wernis. There's no throw. The throw comes into third. It's one nothing. Hogs. How about taking third with the ball to left, too? Oh, I'll tell you what, this is outstanding. Base running and great speed. You know when you see Wernis coming to the plate, the Nintendo never slows down. He comes up and goes straight. The throw comes to third, too. But he was just motoring. He got the third. Before Ornus got to the plate. Here's Rick Nomura. It's this to left. Wind is actually picked up blowing to left again. It's changing pitch to pitch. This will bring home the second run. Shannon gets him to third, scores on the sacrifice ball. Runner takes off, got a great jump. Throw down, he's got no shot. Hit to the right side. They're going to send him home. Here comes the throw. 3 0 Arkansas. Well, nice job going with the pitch right there. Drop your hands inside. And Spoon never slowing down. Hits the inside corner of the bag. Accelerates. Good slide. Back to Knudsen. Flip this under, and the Hogs are done here in the first. But a three run frame for Arkansas. So he's going to face uh, James Teague. When you look at Teague, he's a guy that's uh, done a lot of different things. He's made quite a few starts. That scouting report, he's a four pitch guy. He's pitched much better of late. He's got no Joey Hawkins, shortstop. Yeah. Hawkins based it up the middle, did the same thing yesterday. Left, moving over, moving over. Fair ball. That is a fair ball. Serrano couldn't get it, and Hawkins is up at third. Stand up double from Athene. Second, obviously, move the runner over to third. Line drive is short. Not going to do it. Struck well, though. To the right side. Nomura is there. And a broken bat. You don't see that very often in college baseball. Valley Conference. This is laced back up the middle. Third hit for the Bears. Got it. Just fell out of the zone. To left. He was working on that in batting practice all day. A nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try to do too much with it. Lost him. Laying anything down here. Swinging at the first pitch. This should get him out of it. Bernal's calling everyone off. And it's been the story of the weekend. 19 homers, which is tied for the lead in the country. This is hit to second. Two out. 
Pier 1 and find a, find a big spoon. Yeah, they had to go about two or three hours because they wouldn't ship it. Spoon, two for two. Another single. Let's we'll see if he takes off here quickly. First. The right side. Had to go a long way, but Dylan Becker makes the play. Mura charges. There's two outs. Burnus knew he had to charge it. He goes under his glove. Four pitch walk. Hit well. Another base hit to left field. They're going to send him home. The throw is not there. The Bears are on the board. Ring him up. Teague is fired up. He's got something to say. And the chatter continues here in Fayetteville. The weather's heating up. So is the energy. go twice to come into the game. Rip the left. Base hit for Pinnell. Pull something here. Ring him up. Caught him looking. Easy play for Knutson, and they got to be happy to get Benintini out like that. We'll talk with his. Lance Phillips will be the new pitcher. 24th game of the year. He's 1 and 3 with a 3.23 earned run average. 30 and 2 thirds, 11 walks, 28 strikeouts. Serrano, a couple steps back. He'll be right in front of the warning track, and there's two outs, a couple of F7s. Goes way out there, and then he drops down and only adds to it. This is going to be a tough play for Bernal. In shallow left, safe. Did everything he could. Single for Berger. Got him, ring him up. It's going to get into right. It will. C and I base hit. Loses them. The right side. This will get him out of the inning. Arkansas strands a couple of base runners. Bears coming to bat. This will be a base hit just over the outstretched reach of Nomura. Good effort. Rams not going. Ball four. Six, one out, two runners on, and the Hogs are going to their ace closer. Zach Jackson, 6'3", 215-pound sophomore. He's from Berry Hill, Oklahoma. But well, he's outstanding stuff. 95, 96-mile-an-hour heater. Go with a really good hard breaking ball. Through to right field. This is going to bring home one. Here comes the throw. Did a marvelous job right here off of the glove of Egan in the right field. Spoon charges quickly. The throw to the plate. This is a great slide to the outside. The ball beats him, but the time he can get to him, he gets to the corner. And he gets that left hand in there ahead of him. You can see the ball's there first, but what a great slide. Outside corner, and he got him. Reaches out to right. Spoon is underneath it. Missouri State has left 10 on base, seven in scoring position. They get one, they trail by one. Pitched around him and maybe frustrated him a little bit. Two outs. Sack fly in the first, got an RBI. Take one there. In the air. 
should be terrible for Clawson. Makes the play, and Arkansas is done here in the eighth. Got him. Big time breaking ball. Totally changed the complexion of this game. Omura, two away. Got it. Gonna have to throw down to first. And Arkansas uses her ace closer. One, two, three. They'll be loud though in the ninth. Bernal to left. It's carrying. Johnson's underneath it. Didn't carry enough. Oh, that would have been a big one. And it, it's it's changing as the ball's traveling right back up the middle. Base hit for Clark Egan. His first knock of the day. Hit and run was on. Good call, Keith. Hawkins will make the play at first, but a runner in scoring position now. Ring him up. Comes with a fastball in the outside corner. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Last chance for the Bears. Pitch of the game coming up. To left center. And Intendi. Yes. He just glides out there. One, two. Lifts this in the air. Tyler Spoon is calling Nomura off. Arkansas is an out away from going to the College World Series. A nervous feeling here in Fayetteville. Got him! He struck him out, and Arkansas is headed to the College World Series for the eighth time in school history. Keith, it was one heck of a super regional. We saw great pitching, we saw great hitting, but in the end, I think Zach Jackson was the difference here in this one. Well, there's no doubt about it. Uh, Arkansas got their three runs in the first and made their pitching stand up. This is a very good offensive team, but their pitching was the story of today. So today it was the pitching of Arkansas separated the game as Jackson was just outstanding. Another difference all weekend long. The 11 to 12,000 that are calling the Hogs right now. This was as an electric college baseball atmosphere as I've ever been in. We would have hosted this, but both these teams probably deserve to go to the College World Series, but it's Arkansas who's advancing for the eighth time in school history.